Oh, for the Star Wars? Yeah. What did it tell you? It said 2108. I wouldn't value this at $2,000 worth of yeah. Star Wars stuff. I told you what I got into it. I don't want to lose money, but... And, you know, don't be mad at me. I'd probably give you... He's bringing... Well, I don't know what he's bringing, but I think a bunch of good stuff. And he wants the kiss stuff that I have. From these kids, 12 inch Negos. Phil Elliott from Cumming, Georgia. A friend of mine passed away a couple years ago. I bought his kiss stuff. And his mom contacted me about uh, possibly buying everything else. So I've been sitting on it for the last couple of years, trying to find somebody who would, you know, take it off my hands. At this point, I'm just trying to get my monies back. Now you said this was your stuff or your buddy's No, stuff? my buddy in Mississippi passed away. And uh, I thought I would try to sell it to Lou. Remember the guy, the Parkinson guy? Yeah. But Lou and I have known each other too long. Lou didn't want to ever pay me anything. So like six million dollar man, like you said? Yeah. So the critical of some arms. Funny how I found Ryan through the internet. Here I am today and hopefully we can make a deal. Is that what it is? That's the ice cream box. box. Yeah. Oh, all right. I think it's ice cream box. I was a big Batman fan back in the day. Yeah. I never saw those. So. so now these yeah. we're going to have to okay. analyze. Yeah. Some of them are talking. Yeah. There's no cracks. He, he was real picky, supposedly. <laughs> well, I've got 45 into it. He claimed it was worth about 85. And I wanted to give his, his mom a fair price, so. Travis, you're probably going to look at these Joes. And I'll do he supposedly had priced it all out. He had all these price guys and was telling me the value. So you stickered these or did he? I did, yeah. Oh, okay. I, just, I was just stickering them for a, a show. It might not be worth 85, it might be worth 65. My, my thing. And then that toad is a ton of accessories. Six lockers full of costumes, rafts. All the accessory, all the good stuff from the 60s and the early 70s. Are you knowledgeable on this kind of stuff? Uh, a little bit, yeah. So, like, he's wrecked. Hmm? Like, he's shot, this guy. Like, I mean, he, well, he's super paint wear, heavily discolored. Oh, okay. Uh, and then he's got heavy paint wear. Because, like, he'll get two guns. Whatever I'm missing, I'm sure you probably can put them together. Leia has a gun. But this is not even a vintage gun. This is a 90s Han blaster. Okay. I have parts and pieces of everything. I just sort of yeah. put everything yeah. together. I'm sure you do the same thing. Yeah, yeah. So he's got his gun. So this is... To me, this is Forlom. It's now Zuckus. Mm -hmm. But when I was a kid and mailed away for this, it was Forlom. Uh -oh. But they, they had the names wrong. Uh -oh. So, like, he's complete. Mm -hmm. uh, this isn't his gun, so... I'll go with him. Uh, your Lando's pretty clean. Probably no, but like with Star Wars, vintage Star Wars, the cases are in great shape. Yeah, yeah. The fact that you have this helps. Yeah, yeah. And then there's another version of this that yeah. has what they call like the kit bash or the mock-up boba, yeah. where it doesn't look like this because they hadn't made them yet. Oh, okay. And then that's really tough to find. So this is the... Yeah. But this is a variant. So it's the brown snake Yoda. And he's got Pac-Man eyes. Mm. So the eyes will be little Pac-Mans. little different. Yeah. So yeah, this Everything. one's your better one where it's in yeah. the slots. So he just needs a staff. He's got his gun. Emperor's complete. Oh, that's funny. That's not his. Oh, that's cool. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Was that whoever owned this? I think that's his, yeah. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. All right, so there's your little catalog. These were. This is what I wish the companies would do now. Yeah. You know? So you would look at. Remember, our Matchbox used to do the little catalogs too. Yeah, because it was a cool little thing. But when I mean, I kid, get it. Everything's know. on the internet. Yeah, so, yeah. You, but this was all you had. Mm -hmm. And then you tell your mom, I want. Then you always had a checklist or something, right. you know. So this is the guy I showed you in the other bin that I mailed away for. Oh, okay. That's what he looks like without a robe and this. So yeah. Kind of just get an overview of everything. This is, this, so just a bunch of footlockers. Well, they're full. A lot of them are full. Oh, wow. All the good stuff. 
Lou, Lou, Lou would sell every one of these, um, you know, weapons and accessories. He made a killing. Do you have any idea? Because I'm not going to, being honest with you, yeah. not knowledgeable enough to know what every one of these pieces is. Yeah. Where I might I just, just say, oh, I think yeah. this is worth X. He claimed all these totes um, in the Star Wars, all this. He, he had priced around 85 and I... I wanted to give it him his mom uh, who uh, basically wanted me to buy it all since I bought all the Kiss stuff. So I gave him 45 for it. Just for this Joe stuff? For all this. Oh, wow. But people know me as the Kiss guy. People don't come to me for G.I. Joe or Hot Wheel or Star Wars. So I need to get this into the hands of somebody who knows what it is. And to move it, so he knew what he was talking about, and it was worth. And that twice wasn't that. counting the kiss stuff. No, no, that oh, was wow. separate. Yeah. That's kind of cool. So your little pith helmets. Are you looking at uh, Joe's? Uh, no, I'm looking at these. This is cool. Well, they did this little army manuals and little mini catalog, which, regardless of what toy line it is, I love paperwork. Yeah. Ryan has some uh, Amigo Kiss dolls. I said maybe we could do a partial trade, and, you know, trade purchase or something. So it just depends on what he's what he's interested in, and hopefully we can you know, make a deal. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Oh, cool. Use on the thermos. That's a big marble lunch right there. <laughs> oh, look, we got a. What is that? So it's a. Uh... Great cover. Oh, Master Yeah. Yeah. We sold those. Like... You'd have Oscar Goldman head or different. Oh, cool. <laughs> These I found, and I looked them up, and they go. I mean, the average price was around nine hundred dollars. Oh wow! Yeah, I got it. Turn the head all the way. Yeah, they still. Ah, it's a little tight, but. but I have no idea that works. But then like you got to turn it all the way back to over to then lower it. Same. Or you you could break it or screw up the mechanism. See, this is this is cool. So Kenner did this a lot. And they would put this little sticker and then add some bonus item to it. They threw two figures in it that you didn't normally get. Because this is the same as that, but this had the bonus. a bonus item. I mean, he does have his socks. But now he's not the one that goes with this because he doesn't have oh yeah well uh check his shorts yeah that's first version yeah so this is not the one for that box oh, okay. this one would get the engine block uh but it it don't matter I mean, yeah. uh you got the box which is cool i added this all right did you already those. add the beam because I pulled the beam to put with this. Yeah, no, I that. added the beam. So then... That's in here. Okay. Um, well, technically, some stuff's in the wrong boxes. Yeah, that's what I figured. Well, worst case scenario is you, can, you just have to switch. Right. There's hands to that. But or... That might be it. Yeah. yeah. That might be the one that goes in the box. Yeah. I don't know, to what degree do you want to spot check some of these? Because the likelihood that you were saying there's no cracks is... That's like winning the lottery. He claims before he bought them all, he like totally checked them out. So, so he's got a knee. He's got a knee crack. Oh, he does. You see me? I mean, it's not bad. Oh, he's cool. Look, okay, that's what I was wanting. Uh, what those things? Oh were. yeah. Um, metal light things. Thing. Nice. So these are definitely clean. Like not played with at all. Usually, you just look for some of them. Filmer TV related stuff for me is what sells best. 
That's a Spider-Man car. This is. Oh yeah. Kind of took some pictures with some of the accessory boxes laid out instead of just squatting over there and going through it. I could zoom in and kind of come up with some value here. And do a partial trade with the. Well, that, I mean that's definitely the goal. So. If I get it, yeah, you, but I need I need to. You have the market for it. I I gotta determine. This is like amazing, like candy land for every kind of collectible. You know? Yeah, no, we got a lot of stuff. Yeah. But I will tell you, 12 inch Joe's a couple years ago isn't what it is now. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because they're aging. That age group that collects it is aging out. Yeah. And so it, it, it's a slower sell. Because I remember I had this piece and it was talking, talking about Ace. I, and I was like, you know, it's what, like 500, 600? And he goes, oh, it used to be. He goes, if you want to sell it, put 300 on it. And I was like, oh, geez. So I just reached out to a buddy of mine, Ace All Good. And to me, he's the god of 12 inch GI Joe's to help me out because there's a lot of loose parts in here. And I don't want to keep the man waiting too long, especially when he drove two and a half hours, to give me a rough idea. And it's a mutual friend of ours. So I think him seeing what he's estimating the value at. You know, gives full transparency as to you know, look. This is what it's really worth now. It might not be eight or six or whatever, but he'll know. So then I'll know because this is not my strong suit. I think we could trust his assessment of value, right? Because this is what he does. Well, he didn't see all. Of it. He just I showed him the. Yeah, well, I showed him the sealed. Yep, I showed him that. I told him I have three of those. But see, like, he had one on his display. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I said, I got three of these. I said, if you're interested, he says, what else you got? I said, foot lockers, Joe's. That stuff doesn't fly off the shelves here. Yeah, yeah. It'll sell, but it's a slower sell. Terrific equipment to have a battle with. When you get G.I. Joe and the authentic G.I. Joe equipment, you'll have the greatest realism, the greatest fun you ever had in playing soldier. Box after box of authentic uniforms and equipment so you can change your G.I. Joe soldier into a camouflage marine ready for battle. A Navy frogman with complete scuba suit and inflatable life raft. An Air Force pilot with high altitude helmet and air vest. Get G.I. Joe and get G.I. Joe equipment so you can set up exciting battle action whenever you want. Remember, only G.I. Joe is G.I. Joe. I think I told you the Galactic uh, Collectors or whatever website where you price it. Mm -hmm. You put in the condition and whether or not it has the weapon and they're all loose or on the card. Oh, for the Star Wars? Yeah. What did it tell you? It said 2108. I wouldn't value this at $2,000 yeah. when the Star Wars stuff. I mean, your one case might be worth, the case that had the stuff yeah. might be $600. Uh, well, there's see, some now that really case, good ones in there, like Yoda. And well, that, that that, that's your best one because it's a variant. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If it was an so, orange snake Yoda, it's like 60 bucks. Yeah. That's the brown snake. So that's yeah. like 150 bucks. You see how the, so now that's mm. a good one and it's not cut. Right. So that and that will clean up. <laughs> yeah. Because she's molded one. So mm. you throw, but her gun's 50 bucks. Mm. You throw. Yeah. And you got extra weapons, I'm sure. Yeah, right? but her mix gun it, is still mix tough. Because you know. only her, only she came with the black blaster. I mean, I know you got to turn around and make some money. I just don't want to lose money on hopefully what I, you know, bought it all for. Cause, yeah, yeah. Well, let me, we're going to see where. And we got to kiss, you know, I, oh, I yeah. missed the Amigo, so that's... Oh, that did you pull them out for you to look at them better? Somebody did. I, I, yeah, just, did you, I just noticed they were up there. So. Did you go through them yet? Not yet, no. Yeah. And that's not... That, that's pain. 
Right, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right. I do appreciate it. No, no, hey, you're fine. Yeah. So this was a good point that uh, Ace brought up. He said the stickers on the stuff that you had was relatively right. Well, my Those stickers that yeah, were yellow. Well, <laughs> well, you know, like a lot of the guys said sixty. Oh yeah, yeah, that's my sticker. Right. I just, I told I told Lou I was like, give me a ballpark of what these are worth. I always want to blow them out because I was at a show with him. Well, he said that's, that's why I put. You know, he said seventy, eighty. I put you know, sixty. And I said, look, right. I think he paid four for this stuff four and a half, yeah. but he goes add up the sticker prices and you, you, you don't even get to two so how did how did how is that four if you add up just the stickers yeah what you had already priced because it was all priced well i was pricing it to blow it out yeah oh it's so. it's not even he said the prices you had on them are what they're worth and then yeah, he said all the accessories that's that's where a lot of the value is the weapons all the uh, but he said there <clears throat> Yeah, he said there was nothing rare in there. There was nothing that popped out where he goes, oh my God, I got to have that. Uh, right. It was a lot of fives and tens. Not even stuff like this that he's got. <laughs> well, he, he said. He told me he, was, he wanted this. Yeah. Well, I mean, I. They're like 900 is what he, he had on his. He said in that condition, he would value that at five to 600. Mm -hmm. Is what he. Uh, so yeah, he'd sell it for 900, but he'd maybe pay that for it. <laughs> well, no, but I asked him to tell me what its value is. Yeah, yeah. I didn't ask him. Like, this isn't for him to buy. Since it's not my strong suit, right. I trust sure. what he says. Sure, sure. Uh, but he was saying, he goes, this is what he said. There's about $2,000 worth of stuff here oh. on, the, on the Joes. Right. Oh, just the Joes. Just the Joes. So, you know. Where do you want to come in from there kind of thing is what he said so uh, i mean i i told you before you even came right, here right. i would come oh in yeah, yeah, yeah yeah but i don't know if that's you know we haven't got to the other stuff right, yet, right. but on the joe stuff i would give you a thousand dollars whether that works for you or not yeah. i don't know but he said these foot lockers are about 60 bucks a piece with what's in there. right right oh with what's in them yeah oh. I don't know what I've priced a lot of those things. And I've gotten, but see, the thing I've is to find the dude, of, to find know. the dude who needs. I mean, yeah, I, but just the accessories like the shark is. It's not a five dollar piece. The, no, no, no. You know, the, maybe the cam, uh, the the tent, the backpacks, and I mean, it's like, eh, I mean, see? include the the figures too. Get us closer, hopefully, to uh, something I could accept. You know? Colonel Steve Austin, the six million dollar man, and the new Bionic Transport and Repair Station. The rocket's crashing! We'll put him in the Bionic Repair Station. We can rebuild him. We'll replace the modules in the Bionic Arm. No injury here. We'll have to check his eye. Bionic Eye, A-OK. -okay. Six million dollar man, ready for action. New Bionic Transport and Repair Station sold separately. The six million dollar man, new from Kenner. So you have one, two, three. There's got to be five because it's the one. At the well, he I counted him different. I'm saying four, six million dollar man, and then he's a different thing. So you had that. Yep. But that one was there. Back I added that too. And did wasn't there a the goggles? Okay, I knew we had something else. Right. He's got his watch. Okay. And then you had the Mascatron. Mm -hmm. In him. Oh, it's got it. All right, so $6 million man. Mm -hmm. Micronauts. Launch boxes. Nice. Yeah. Okay. King Kong Thermos. I got that. Not counting the Joes. Right. Everything else you brought. I'm at roughly. Put 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 this in that. Yeah, yeah, right. Well, I'm, at a at a not retail price because we're not talking retail on my stuff. So, you know, these got some wear and you know they're painted and. Well, but once you we determine, yeah, what I'm giving you, then we could work on what okay. you're getting. But I figure if he says eighty-five, it's got to be worth somewhere sixty-five, seven at least. 
the percentage of 12 inch buyers to three and three quarter inch buyers keeps transitioning. Yeah, yeah. And then the 12 inch guys at the end of the show are looking at each other wondering why I didn't make any money. Yeah, yeah. And they're seeing the three and three quarter guys killing it. I told you what I got into it. Uh, I don't want to lose money, but we can work it down with the, the kiss. I think I give you. Yeah, don't be mad at me. I'd probably give you two grand and you can leave with the kiss stuff. Uh, I, I could. Ooh. I'm only valuing everything at two Right, grand, right, right. Not counting the Joes. And if I. So if I gave you half a value of what you brought, that's a great. Right, right, right. And then right. I gave you what to me the expert says I should pay on the 12 inch. That which doesn't is half. include the Joes you said? Or what? What no. You said? Oh, that's everything. That is the Joe's. He says it's about two grand worth of stuff. I told you I'd give you half. Of what yeah. you but I know what you paid for yeah. it. But I could, I mean, I I get 45 into it. Uh, but that's not even 45 in retail. Right. Because you just add up your own sticker prices. You would never even well, do I that. Just, I'll put them up. Lower than I were, you know, but Lou said they were worth, so but I could maybe blow them three, out. Four you know? years yeah, ago, yeah. now that's about what they're worth. Yeah. You're going well, this lower. Is past, this is past yeah. year or so. Can you do three with the chest stuff? Uh, no, that's just a statue. That leaves you a lot of room. I mean, like all the accessories, like I'm telling you. Yeah, you know? according to somebody's opinion, I, <laughs> I trust. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and you got two grand worth of the excess stuff. How would I give you three grand and seven hundred dollars worth of product? But am I gonna make three hundred bucks and all said done? That doesn't, that doesn't make any sense. Why don't we do? Um, why don't we do a one-up trade for the six million dollar man stuff and the figures for the kiss stuff? And then throw the two micronaut guys in, and then there's there's that deal. So what can you give me on the six million dollar man? The three cases and all the figures. Uh, I mean the Star Wars figures. I give you 500 cash. I thought we said what would you, right who would you have earlier you said to you valued it at six. You, you said 2,000. I, if you could do six on that. Well, no, well, no. I valued that box. I valued that box at 600. That's what it was worth. Oh. Like, I'm not paying you that. Well, well, you said half. You said it was like half, like a thousand something. I'm being. I'm putting a hundred on each of the other two cases because they're they're more beaters. So you have about eight hundred dollars in value to me. So then that's where I'd be five hundred cash. Let's do six and I'll throw in the microbots. Six million dollar man swap. So we're basically just talking. The microbots and the Star Wars. And then what about your lunch for six hundred bucks? But now you we tell me. So we had the six million dollar man for the kiss and the microbots. And then what was? And then what was the deal on the Star Wars? Well, that was I was trying to get some cash out of that. Five. I was hoping for six. And then. Why don't we do the that with the lunch boxes together? Cause uh, okay, six fifty. Oh, fifty bucks for for four. Well, I don't want to pay six on that. <laughs> well, yeah, but you did say that earlier. So. No, no, no. I said I valued yeah. that at yeah. six. That wasn't what yeah. I was paying. The one case. This I would give you one hundred twenty-five bucks. Right. Which is, you have them priced at 240. All right, let's do, let's do, let's, maybe, you know, let's do 650. 650? Oh, you know, this way you can make money. I, I can, okay, so be close to, okay, you know, not losing my shirt. But, okay, you know. but I, I mean, I so think I'm being those, fair on your Star Wars. Oh, yeah, four of those and the uh, Star Wars, the cases, and they're all the figures. Um, all the six million dollar man, the microbots. Um, You're keeping the Joes. I'm keeping the Joes. So then we have. So you giving me this and the the yeah, Migos, the Migos. Yeah. And we're doing six bits. Do you want to sell your Hot Wheels? I only sure. really want one of the boxes. Sure. I mean. But I mean, 
I'm not a Hot Wheels expert, so Only it's gonna much. come down to I'll sell. Was there two boxes or? There's three. So you got three cases. Hundred bucks. So it brings it up to seven fifty, right? Yeah. Okay. So seven fifty with so a. Is that right? Right. Yes. Eight, eight and a quarter. For seventy five, right? So just nine hundred. Yeah, nine twelve. Yeah. Okay. And y'all, one of y'all can help me put it yeah, back yeah, in the yeah. car. Well, here, do you want to put yeah, these I'll put figures? those in here where there's a blanket and stuff. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. Just to make instead of twelve, it just sounds stupid. So times one. Oh, you're generous today. Right. Appreciate it Thank again. Thank you. It's not normally how trades happen here, Did he but take the kiss? it was fine. On that six million dollar man lunchbox Hot Wheels lot, what did we end up doing? Yeah, well, we just swapped the kiss stuff. That was seven hundred for the figures. Yeah, but the other, I have no idea that sign stuff. So, well, he valued it at one eighty. So that's um, I, I write it, I guess. Uh, so then that's eight eighty. So eight eighty trade, and then what was the cash? It's supposed to be nine twelve. I gave him 920. Okay. Because it was just kind of goofy. He has his own stuff. Yeah, he gets so some. Sometimes you buy something to see more. Or you work something that's less, you know, it was a pretty complicated trade. It was complicated. Yes. So I need a snack break or a brain, a brain rest. <laughs>